Yo, it's Poppin' Boy Boys, welcome back to another video, man. In today's video, we're gonna be installing an AEM True Boost controller. Um, currently, I have a Turbo Smart manual boost controller. It's been giving me a lot of problems. I keep hitting boost, boost cut no matter how low the boost controller is, the manual one. So, my I'm thinking it's just I can't avoid that with the manual boost controller. So, I'm just gonna swap over to something that's controlled by a solenoid and would set it to where I need to be set at. So, um, it should be easy install. Really, all I'm doing is replacing the stuff that's inside my car. I don't have to like really do too much because I have everything basically already set up. And um, I'm just going to put everything in replacement of my, uh, my, what is that? My, my, uh, dang, what is in there? Uh, sh a shift gauge. Shift boost? Boost? I have a boost gauge in there that has stuff plugged into it. I'm just going to swap it out and put the AM one. So, yeah. Should be fun little video. Should be easy. Um, I'm gonna try not make it too long because it should be a very short video. It's honestly not that hard, and I kind of want to get this done so I can just get everything set up. But yeah, let's get into it. So these are the stuff I'm gonna be using. Um, I have some some push to push to fit lines, uh, some uh, T's, um, the solenoid itself, the boost gauge. So this kit was used. Um, one thing that came with it was this and that. I added the line. I added the the push to push to lock fittings, and uh, yeah. But it's very simple. I'm gonna show you guys what to do and where I mount my stuff. But first, I need to go inside the car and remove this current setup, which I have right here. I need to take this glow shift gauge out and uh, take out the wires with it. But first, I need to disconnect the battery because I am not trying to get shocked while I'm doing this, and I'm not trying to like, like, <laughs> mess up my car. So let me do that first, and then we get back into everything else. The next morning. All right, guys. So few days have been passed, and I haven't shown you guys what I've been doing to the AM boost controller, but I was having a little difficulties wiring everything up, and I finally got it to figure out. So as you guys can see, don't pay attention to this fuse right fuse uh, tap. Pay attention to this one. Uh, I believe that's slot 29. And what I did is I uh, I tapped it with another fuse, which is a 7.5 fuse, and I tapped it with a 5 amp. And uh, one of those wires that's connected to your AEM gauge is going to be for power. There's going to be two red wires. One red wire is for power. The other one is just for like. I don't even know. Uh, I guess that goes into like uh, the ECU if you have something going on with the ECU and stuff like that. But yeah, you only need two wires. It's the red wire and the, and the black wire. So you ground out that black wire and the other wire goes to the, the red wire goes to a, uh, a, 12, a 12 volt source that switches on when you power the car on. So yeah, once you guys get that figured out, um, I tap mine to I think slot 29 or something like that. It's the ODS fuse. And what the ODS is, is when like somebody's in the passenger seat and it tells you to put the seat belt on. And that only turns on with the car. So, yeah. Make sure you tap that. Or you can tap whatever you find. But, uh, next is just, um, wiring up the boost signal. Which is pretty dang easy as well. So, this is where I mounted mine. I mounted it with some 3M tape. It's, it's on there. Um, I might put a zip tie probably like right here. And right here to connect it to the holes just in case the in case the what's it called 3m doesn't hold but I have my line going from here they're gonna go right into the wastegate which is back there you guys can't really see it because the camera's not focusing but the wastegate is right there and it's gonna go to the top port and then once you have your line which is this one I think that's two coming out that goes to your top port and then your uh, one, I believe, was that? Yeah, your one is gonna go to your your uh, boost reference, which is gonna be my uh, the vacuum block, and then goes back to the bottom of the wastegate. I'm gonna plumb everything up so you guys can see what I mean, but it's pretty pretty easy. Nothing like very difficult to figure out. Um, yeah, I'm just get everything plumbed up so I can show you guys and show you guys what it look like so you guys can copy it if you wanna do this. Yeah, it's really easy. Alright guys, so I have everything plumbed up for the boost controller, I mean boost solenoid, 
I'm gonna show you guys because I know you guys are watching me like bro this man doing a lot of movement but ain't showing us the jack all right so get you guys able to see the waist gate come on bro all right there we go so you see that uh fitting coming off the top of the waist gate that is the new line i just made that goes into port number two on your boost solenoid for the am um that's gonna be that's gonna be your top line and then for your uh one they have to tee off that goes from your solenoid not solenoid that goes from your port one and that tees off into your boost reference into the bottom and and into the bottom of your wastegate. Luckily for me, I already had a line going from the bottom of the wastegate. So literally all I had to do was make that new top one that's going to port two on the solenoid and then make a new line that tees off port one. Well, tees off the top, no, the bottom wastegate line into my boost reference and into the solenoid. So if you guys are confused, just uh, look at the diagram um, or I, I can put the link in the bio, I mean, in the description, you guys go check it out for yourself. But yeah, it's, it's really, really easy. It's only three lines that you're making. All right, guys, so since I got the lines done, I have to jack up the car, take off the wheel, so I could get the wires to reach the boost solenoid and wire those bad boys up. And then probably go on a little drive, make sure everything's functioning and working. Probably do a pull or two. Um, and yeah, end the video after that. Yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> All right, so hopefully you guys can see this. I wish I had my other glove, but uh, this lining right here, your fender lining, you're gonna wanna pull it down. What the hell is that? Oh, that was a clip. But yeah, you're gonna wanna pull it down. Oh, I wish I had my freaking glove. Like that. And I can see my wires right there. So what I'm gonna do now, and damn boy, they, yo, I ain't this black my G. Stop trying me. Come on, give me some light skin vibes. I ain't this black. Damn. So like I was saying, what we're gonna be doing, you're gonna be grabbing the wire. Well, you're gonna fish the wire. Is the little hole, the same hole that's right there. Yours is gonna probably have like a rubber garment if you never like had any wires going through it. You're gonna fish that wire out, and it's gonna go up through the passenger, I mean, up through the fender well, out from right here at the top, and then uh, wire it up. So let me do that real quick for you guys. All right guys, so I got that in. Now I'm gonna pull this down. You see the wire right here. Boom, there's the wire. When it comes to my chick, I'm straight. All right, you guys, I got both wires soldered. You guys can see that. I love these little uh, solder thingamajiggies. Bro, these things are so amazing. It has little uh, soldering tips inside. And then it's heat sealed and no water gets inside, bro. Love these things. All right, guys. So let's turn the car on. See if things perfectly fine. Yeah. Everything sounds fine. Going a little drive. All right, guys. So I'm trying to figure out this gauge. I should have like researched it before, but uh, yeah, bro. It's doing this. If anybody knows what this is and like how I could change it, bro, please let me know. Uh, I need to read the instructions and figure this out. But I'm glad that gauge. I'm glad that the gauge is working and is on. It was reading boost until like I started like pressing buttons. Like, this is high, so I'm guessing that's the high boost. But it keeps saying, I don't know if it says a erase or if that says error. But something's definitely like happening with this. Like, how do I, how do I get out of this? All 
Alright, so, oh, that's you still hear my music. So it's reading boost now. Yeah, it's definitely reading boost. I just don't know how to set the boost, and I'm kind of scared to do a full, and it'd be like 20 psi, you feel me? So, uh, <laughs> that's scary. I might have, I might have to uh, hit up Abe or somebody to like swing by or I swing by over them one of these weekends and uh, they kind of like help me figure this out because I honestly don't know what the hell I'm doing but I did it boost gauges and it's reading boost I just don't know if the solenoids the boost solenoids working sadly I hope it is because that will suck all right guys so I don't know what's going on uh i looked up that code that e s e r five whatever that thing is and it says it has to do with the boost solenoid having like a connection issue right so i don't know if the boost solenoid is just shot because it's a used solenoid like this whole kit is used and i noticed that it does have some more like heat shrink around some wiring so i don't know if it's just the boost solenoid is, is like just done or the wiring for, for where I wired mines at is messed up going up. And I need to cut that little piece that's uh that has like heat shrink on it and wire it from there. But yeah, um it's not reading well it's a reading boost. Gauge is reading boost. It's just not letting me program the uh, boost the boost solenoid for me to have like a, a set mount of boost that I want. So um I'm gonna tackle that another day. But I'm still gonna show you guys the new setup. It's pretty clean. You can't even tell that the boost solenoid is there. Like, look at that. If somebody asks me, hey, bro, you got a boost solenoid? Bro, you, what, what, what boost control are you running? You running something cool? What, what is it? I'm going to tell them, ain't running nothing, big dog. Ain't nothing here, big dog. Because look at that. You can't even see it. You have to go on this side of the car to see it. And then you can't even see the T because the T is like all the way back there. It's, it's clean. It's super clean, bro. I really like how it came out. That's where I'm at off the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Follow your boy on Instagram by underscore got the soda. Head to the website zubigarage.com. I have some anti-lag switches. If you guys don't know what that is, it's basically you flick the switch, it builds boost while you're driving at a certain mile per hour. You flick the switch off and your car takes off. Ooh. But yeah, man, that's where I'm at off the video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Follow your boy on Instagram underscore got the soda and your boys out. Peace.